All right, well, my name is Danny Asbury L., and I'm the president of Soul L International, a nonprofit here in Houston, Texas. And we do work all over the world. But I am the creator of the Earth Star comic book series. I am Andre Andres X. I am the editor and uh, like co-writer now mm -hmm. for Earth Stars comic. So the Earth Stars, they are a group of people that have these extraordinary superpowers, but their power is based on the pol on the belief of themselves. So that belief would be their faith in themselves. That faith part of you would be the actual essence of God itself. And that will energize you and make you become this bigger and better thing, you know. So with the Earth Stars, kind of going off of what Danny said, is kind of like when you're reading the story, you're kind of realizing, like the characters themselves are realizing, like we are the Earth Stars. Like we have that power within us. So it's kind of, it kind of plays into the idea of instead of looking outwards, like externally to God, like you look within yourself and you find like that power like within yourself. And you, there's a lot of cosmology that we play with there as far as like before you even are born on earth, what, what that entails and how you gain that power to begin with. It's a ride, it's a journey because you get to understand the character's history, where he comes from, what his goals are, but we introduce the character Eclipse Loosely based off of myself, of course, because I go through my own situations in life and hopefully those situations can help other people. And with that, everyone gets to learn about the nature of the Earth Stars through this one character. But eventually, that becomes many. I came up with the concept when I was 16. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am now. But I came up with the concept when I was 16 because... I, I was always being taught that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. And so that spirit in us would be represented by a star or by the light or by the cosmos. But then we also have the earth part where you're born on the things of, uh, on the plane of things made manifest. You're born in the physical plane. You're here. Uh, living, breathing, walking, talking every day in your flesh, in your body. So that would represent the Earth. So that's why I say Earth stars. It feels fantastic to work as a team because I no longer feel like I'm by myself in this journey of creating. Many artists don't want to admit it, but art is better with the team because with you uniting and you're bringing those energies together, you are creating magic. You are creating a whole world. You're doing the same thing as a creator, right? So this is why I feel like it's, it's, it's so cool to finally have a team, to finally have people that um, gravitate off of the same sort of direction energy, if that makes sense. Yeah, it feels cool because I'm usually on on Danny's end of things, where, like I'm usually like the the creator and then also like the main writer of the of the thing, like of the comics that I'm working on. And now it's kind of like I'm taking the other role of being like the co-writer and like the editor of something that's that's already like been in the works. So I'm like I'm taking his brainchild and we're kind of, you know, turning it into something else right now. Um, so it feels cool. It feels cool to to be on the side of things and also like I'm really picky when it comes to certain things that I edit or that I help co-write. So when he told me about it, I was like, yeah, like, I'm down. This is like, this sounds cool. And then when he was telling me his whole process about how he was doing it and like everything that he's done with it, not just the script itself, but like the elements of the story as far as like the characters that he's created, the costumes, the music, so many layers to it. And I saw a lot of, um, kind of like a lot of what I was doing in my work too. It's like that, that level of effort. So then I was like, yeah, this is a this is a project I feel comfortable stepping in and like kind of helping you know, to formulate into a comic. Be yourself. Be energized by who you are. Know that you were born with the tools of the mind. Know that you can look within and see the God within. You know, we all sprang forth from the great deity. You know, if you call him Zeus, Thoth, if you call him Jehovah, if you call him Allah, if you call him whatever you call this entity that created us all, 
know that that entity is also within and to tap in and to channel that power is something to behold. It's the very thing that uplifts you when there's no one else around. It's the very thing that makes things possible because you will it to be. So this is the very thing or the very impact that I wanna have on the, the community at large. I don't care who or what you are, what background you come from, you can get energy from this particular book, if, it, if that makes sense. A lot of this kind of going off of what Danny said about looking within yourself, finding that power. And I think also like if you were to look externally, realizing that you have the community around you, like your friends and your family, who can help you overcome these obstacles, whether they be something supernatural like in the story or whether it be something like day to day, it's like you realize no matter how powerful you yourself are, you still need community. You still need people around you to help you and help you, you know, progress through life. So that's 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 a takeaway I would want the people um, who are reading the comic to take away. The type of roadblocks that I had were, to be honest, growing up, right? I had to grow up. I had to meld into these experiences. I had to become this, what I am now. Because I think that it was just a matter of timing. I was in the military, so I had to experience life in that way. Then I became a community builder after the aftermath of Ike. So I started to grow that way. Uh, then I became a graphic designer for NASA and, and for all of these different other places and I had to grow that way. And then also finding my own lane when it comes to Islamism and uh, having a background with Christianity and learning about the religions all over the world, it showed me that there's just more than me in the world. There is love, there is there uh, uh, various degrees. I had to learn all this stuff. So I don't, I don't wanna say it was a roadblock, I just wanna say that I had to graduate from a lot of different mindsets and schools. And then I was able to make this come to fruition. Um. Some of the roadblocks, I suppose, on my end as an editor and, and writer, it's kind of um, just practicing with writing in general, like especially like in college, you know, you practice, you edit your other friends' papers and things like that. Um, and eventually, like you, some of us, you know, feel good enough, like, okay, we can look over someone else's paper, we can see some of the flaws and kind of like, sometimes it's like things you can't see in your own work, you can see in someone else's work and you can help them you know, level it up basically. So I guess that's some of the things just learning that. Um, and I think for this comic, it's kind of like, it's my first time editing a comic. Cause usually, you know, when I edit something, it's like a, it's like a, like a more like a traditional book or like an essay or something, something like academic basically. So the comic, it's like, it's cool because it's kind of like, it's a different kind of editing. And it's also, I'm able to be more creative with it too. So it's kind of what we were talking about before. It's kind of like, like I'm writing and editing, but it also feels like I'm directing in the sense of like I'm setting up the panels and kind of how you would do like every shot, kind of like helping the, helping the audience and also like the like the artist who's gonna draw it in the first place see like how are we gonna set up you know every panel like how are we gonna set up every shot, um, and that what helped me with that was kind of like my own roadblocks with my comic, seeing like the do's and don'ts of that, like my own mistakes with my comic, and then kind of seeing like how I can help Danny avoid making those same mistakes that I made. So, yeah, so lessons that were learned like the hard way, but it's, it's gonna be helpful in the long way. Be patient, <laughs> be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself because usually artists, you know, we have the, we have the whole picture. We have the big idea in our heads already. And you have to be patient with the time that you're in, you have to be patient with the elements that involve your creativity, right? And you have to also be patient with the proverbial finish line. You think at a certain age or at a certain time or at a certain spot, you have to, you have to run through this finish line at a particular point in your life and when really that's just the start of the race. So you have to be patient with that aspect. You know, sometimes you can feel like you're too late, but you're not. You're right on time. 
for your own destiny. The fact that you hadn't left the earth means that you are right on time to meet your destiny. So I want folks to know that and see that, right? And also be that. There are certain attributes that we have to be. We have to be patience when it comes to us. But we also have to be love. Sometimes we don't think the best of ourselves, so we don't really get to see the best of ourselves. And going back to your last question, I think that was one of my hangups, was I didn't think that I was the best at what I did for me, but this is a part of my destiny. I am the best at it for me. So you're not in competition with anybody. You're not in competition with time. Because as we say, uh, time never was when man was not, Mm -hmm. right? You were here before the concept of time. You were around before the concept of time. You just didn't know you were. So with that said, I'm going to be me whenever. I'm going to create however. I'm going to be the best at what I can be the best at and be comfortable with me. So that's what I want to give to the world. I want to give that to them to say, hey, I am comfortable being me. I can do this. I will do this. Whenever I get to do it, I'm going to do it. There's one uh, another thing I learned the hard way. You can't tell everybody about your creative ideas, especially if they're not creatives. Um, a lot of people will kind of, if you say if you say your idea to the wrong person, they're going to knock it down. You'll get discouraged or they'll be like, no, this idea is trash. How could you ever make that work? You share the idea with the right person, they're going to match your wavelength and they're going to be like, Yo, yeah, I see exactly where you're, like what you're saying, and you're like, this does this, this sound too crazy? Like, nah, man, like let's do it. So the kind of like being with other creatives, other like like-minded people, definitely helps being in community, with, being in community with them, and then also just like I said, like not sharing your ideas with just everybody unless you're ready to receive that any potential negative feedback. Um, so I would say just to help avoid being discouraged, just kind of be careful with like who you share your ideas with. Because I know as artists, we can be really sensitive. I know me personally, I had had an editor at one point for my comic, and it was constantly like just ripping apart my ideas and kind of making me doubt myself for a while. And then it took meeting like my new group of friends, like the ones that I'm working with, uh, with some of my other personal comics, kind of realizing, yo, like these ideas are like are good. What do you mean? What do you mean you're gonna, you're gonna throw this away, you know? So it's kind of like, find the people that see the gems in you and in your work and ignore the haters. (laughs) I would have to be real with them and I would tell them that the path is not easy, but the path is rewarding. The people that you would get to meet on this particular path are one of a kind and once in a lifetime, you know. uh, This path is filled with twists and turns, but you cannot give up because The day you try to give up, but the day you push through that particular feeling, you will see that on the other side, it's just a divine essence just waiting on you to share. If you don't share, you'll never get it. You know, if you don't become, if if, if you don't love yourself, you'll never get it. If you don't push, you'll never get it. You know, iron sharpens iron. And what that means is, if you don't go against the grain, if you don't experience some resistance, how will you know how strong you are? So with that said, to anybody who's on this path, fight, continue, be you. Fight yourself sometimes. Because our biggest foe is ourselves. Our biggest foe is our thoughts. Our thoughts are these things that we follow, but we have the will to change them at any given time. Be consistent, keep working at it, don't stop. Even if it's just like a like a little doodle a day, just something, just get your creative juices flowing. Um, especially if you're a writer, just write something down and then you'll see, you'll just, you'll end up with a whole page or more just out of just this one, like just start something, just keep at it. Um, Especially when you're young, like don't let that creativity die. Don't don't succumb to the pressures of the world that kind of say that oh you're you're too old for this or you need to grow out of this or that. It's like allow the creators like of our favorite movies and shows and comics and everything. We're like they were adults when they made this stuff. A lot of a lot of the things that we see now, like 
it wasn't like a teenager like drawing this stuff it was a grown man that was like making the comics you know or making these movies or these anime or like writing these mangas so it's like don't ever feel like you have to grow out of anything like you can have fun your entire life nobody nobody can put an age limit on fun and creativity so like let that imagination stay with you don't you know don't let that don't let that die keep that spirit up yeah so in the future you're going to see a lot of performances from the earth stars the music group uh yeah as well as uh the earth star festival you're going to see a lot of that coming up and then at those particular mediums we will be uh showing people how to get access to the comic book uh, there's going to be a lot to it. There's going to be some augmented reality. There's going to be some gaming. There's going to be a lot that's associated with the book. But right now we're in our um, uh, stages, our, our beginning stages of the book, and I can't wait. Yeah, we uh, we got a lot planned. Um, definitely keep an eye out for the comic when it comes out. Um, and yeah, we're we're pretty excited about everything that we're going to do with this. It's gonna, it's not going to be just one project. It's going to be a project that's going to have its whole other, almost like a franchise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah. be its own thing. <laughs> yeah.